Growing up in Long Beach was unique. I had times where we were poor, we didn't have anything, and then times where we were living good. And just like any other inner city, you have your crime problems, but I enjoyed it. It made me tough. If you can survive alone, but you can survive anywhere. My whole family pretty much plays basketball. I was playing football. I was like, basketball is not tough enough. So my mother was like, they're going to go play basketball. I went out and played, and I loved it ever since. Stolen by Camper. Right down the middle of the lane. He slams it home with authority. I started taking the game more seriously in high school. Figured out this is what I wanted to do for my life. And so from that point on, I just dedicated myself to basketball. I train the way I train because I have a passion for basketball. I push myself to make my training harder than the game is. And I'll be able to do whatever I want to do on the court. I want to see how good I can become. I'm not in competition with anybody but myself. Body Snatcher in the building. My nickname is The Body Snatcher. And this past year, George, he added another moniker, The Soul Assassin. He said, man, because you're not just snatching people's bodies now. The level of basketball you're playing at, you're taking a soul. The Soul Assassin, snatching up another body and rolling out. Being 6'3", 230, my style of play is physical. I can take you inside or out. It's based on craftiness and footwork, strength, and just being able to do a little bit of everything on the court. Basketball means everything to me. It's the gift that God gave me to provide for my family. The places I've been, the money I've made, the friendships. When people say ball is life, for me, it's not just a saying, it's reality. My family has supported me throughout my whole career. They always just tell me, for some people, it would take longer than others. But if you keep going, if you keep going, it's hard to beat somebody who won't quit.